is the Predator 2 Ultimate Scout Predator. Has Predator 2 O2 Ultimate Scout Predator on that side and 30th Anniversary on that side. Has all that on the back there. Uh, Born on Hash, Isolated Island, Scout Descends with a rare... You can read that when you get it. Um, includes long range blaster rifle, open and closed throwing discs, cannon blast, gauntlet blast and interchangeable heads and hands. And it also has some pictures of some of the others on, uh, that will be in the sets. Da, 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 da. There he is with his blaster. Yes, so opens up inside there is the figure with all his uh, bits and pieces. Nice thing on there with the skulls behind it. Yeah, right. So, um, it does have the fancy seal on there, which I've never done with the scissors. There they are. Right, we shall pop that like through. There it comes. Ah, there we go. So, is there anything in the bottom of there? No. Cool. Alright, so. There he is now. He has got some tags holding him in. Oh wow, he's got a shed load of tags on that side. What the hell's that? It's gone berserk. Hmm, that tag is not locked in properly. That tag. Yeah, they've started using tags. Mm -hmm. So, what we'll get from this side. I had smaller scissors for this, but I seem to have lost them. I keep losing pairs of scissors. Don't know what I'd do with them, but they disappear. Today we are mostly losing blue scissors. Right, there we go. And does he stand? Oh, kind of. All, right, all these joints are all cockeyed. There's no leg. It always, there's no leg turn in there, is there? No, but then I suppose it wouldn't turn with that, so why bother putting it there? But yeah. Then that foot, there we go. I guess it's supposed to be like that, though. It doesn't quite feel right, but still. There. It does. He does. Stand. Now, I will point out that the helmet on this one is obviously... It's the same helmet as that. There is a lot of reuse on this. Um, okay, let's be honest. I did a review of the KO of this. Um, there will be a comparison video coming soon, but I want to give this its show as much as the other one. So, um, if you go watch that video, I compared them, and I'll I'll do more of that in the comparison video with the KO one, the KO one. The loincloth is look at that. It's not really covering much, is it? Hmm. That's kind of odd. His butt's on show. Is that really it? That's terrible. I don't remember that being like that on the other one. Okay, we'll come back to that. I did make a comment on, on a video, on somebody else's video. Um, I can't remember who it was now. Anyway, I made a comment on a video about that because the guy was complaining that NECA figures are a bit fragile. And, oh, there was a guy on there who got such a love for Necker. I mean, really, like, would not hear a single bad word about them. All the ball joints seem really weird in the crutch, like there's a bit missing. It looks like there's a bit missing. I can't, I can't check the other one of these that I have because I've put it back in a box to do the comparison video, but that doesn't look right. But anyway, um... Let's have a close-up of the, the mask. There we go. It's got quite a nice paint job on there. That crotch looks weird. Those legs feel odd like that. That leg looks warped. Looks like he's riding a horse. Now with these, for some reason, they've just made that go the other way, which is the same. It's like the same wrist. Blades do come out. Back in again. Mm. So, let's see if we can get my stained. Right, so the weapons come with it. We have the blaster rifle. And then we have like 
with less center tape on this one, that which is a collapsed version of it, which goes on there somehow like that I believe. Yeah, there we go. So that goes on there. So that's like a collapsed down version of that. You can kind of see the, the pattern in it. So that's that bit. So yeah, into that. There is a blast thing underneath there somewhere, but the dreadlocks are kind of hiding it. Hmm. You won't be able to get the... I always... Yeah. I don't know what that bit's on for. I presume that it's to cover for something, but you can get the hands up towards the helmet. The knees... I've got the... So they will go up and kick what should be his ass, but he hasn't got one. Hmm. Yeah, there's lots of paint flex coming off as well, but anyway. Right. Yeah, so the guy on this thing was saying that these are collective items and should be tricked like fine china. Oops, like, okay. Okay. I think it's retro blasting. I think it was him that was having the discussion. I may I may try and put a link. I can do that car. I might. I might not. Yeah, that's quite a interesting face. It's got very jowly. I'm trying to look. Have I got? Yeah, this is the Predator head. So that's the usual Predator head. That's one for this one. So it's definitely a much. His tusks are really different. Yeah, but it's still nice. I think I will probably leave it with that. I've got two now, so I might swap the heads over on one of them. Whichever one's easiest. Um, right, it has a spear which is pretty much the same spear as you got with the um, City Hunter, just painted a slightly different colour. It has a collapsed version of the... Tell you what. Here's me. Scissors again. Right. I'll do that that way. So it has a collapsed version of the spear, the blast effect, another cover for the backpack when that's not on it, an open disc and a closed disc. Just out of interest, the one thing that everybody always complains about is these don't stay on. No. Nope. The only way you can get these to stay on is to literally glue them in. Ah, oh, hang on. Now, it's really weird because it is rubber. So you think they'd put more of a lip on it really, but... kind of in there. Yeah. It'll kind of stay in there. Yeah, I like it. I think it's got a... I mean, obviously most of this armour on the top is from the uh, City Hunter. So the, this, this out of all these that I've got so far, has been the most sort of reused of parts. And like I say, that crutch area is really freaking me out. But, hmm. Yeah. I like it. I think it's a cool figure. Um, I am going to do a comparison video, I'll probably film it now, after this, um, of this and one that I got from AliExpress. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's a nice figure. I say it's got a pretty good different paint job on there. You know, there is a variety in these figures, but like I say, it is you reusing quite a few parts from the other figures. I know some of the other figures are different, but, you know, they've used different parts, but this is... Pretty much the same figure, as you say, you know, mushed together. I know what I mean. So, if you have enjoyed this video, what I would really like you to do is help out the channel by hitting the like, shares and subscribe button. Particularly the subscribe button. If you hit that, it would be fantastic. Also hit the little ding dong bell at the side of it, because then you will know when I put up my next video, which could be any time. Yeah, and you don't want to miss it, do you? No. So, that's it, guys. I hope you all have a great day. Hope you have a great night. And... I will see you all in the next video. Bye now.